Hi friends and welcome to this October vlog. I hope that this vlog finds you well and I pray that this will be just a five minute time of stillness for you. So grab your tea or your coffee and settle in. 2 Timothy 3 says there will be terrible times in the last days. People will be lovers of themselves and money boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to parents, ungrateful, unholy, without love, unforgiving, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not lovers of the good, treacherous, rash, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than of God, having a form of godliness but denying its power. What will they do? They will gain control of the weak. They will worm their way into homes. They are loaded down with sin, swayed by all kinds of evil desires, always learning but never acknowledging the truth. That's a sad world that we live in. And it certainly can feel discouraging, especially when you look at the evil that surrounds this world. We are a world tainted with sin, and we are all sinners in need of the Savior. Everyone who seeks to live a godly life will be persecuted by all of this evil that's in the world. It's easy to feel discouraged when you read a passage like this. But scripture also says that these kinds of people, this kind of evil that lives in the world, they won't get far because their folly will be clear to everyone. How can we have hope when we read something like this? Well, friends, 2 Timothy 3 goes on to say that all scripture is God-breathed, useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, training, and righteousness, so that the man of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. So in 2 Timothy 2, it says, Be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Well, friends, Jesus is the word of God. And what does it mean to be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus? Scripture does not say that we need to become as tough as nails. No, strength is not found by rising above the heartache, the stress, the opposition. Strength is found in undeserving grace. True strength does not appear as strength in the world's eye. The world tells us to pull ourselves together as if we can, but real strength is found in Jesus, like plunging into deep waters, like allowing yourself to be buried in deep soil. That's the only way for the flower to rise, isn't it? To first fall in. Fall into the arms of grace as you learn the art of surrender. There is false strength that tries to carry the heavy load as far as it can. How much braver to say, I need help. How much braver it is to let go. For how can you be healed if you don't recognize that you're broken? How can you grow if you are not first planted? How can you swim if you never jump in? Friends, fall into the arms of grace. There is rest and there is also great strength. God's truth will stand. So do not be afraid.